Hi everyone, so as you guys know uh, from the description and the title of this, we are going to be doing something that's been super trending and that is the fox eye which I've been obsessed with. If you follow me on Instagram, you see me doing it all the time and what's lately been in, also the you know uplifting, the what is it called, a space lift look is also in. So I've done my makeup, I've done a slight bit of contour out of the brows. First we're going to go through how we conceal to lift the face and then we'll go down to the eyes. So I like to use a mixture of concealers. I like to use my Kevin Aqua and my NARS Custard which is almost over but I have the backup as always. Um, the Kevin Aqua is super pigmented. It's amazing. And so I'm going to open both of mine up like these. All right. And I'm going to take uh, my brush, usually I use something fluffy, you know, fluffy brushes work good. And to be honest, with the Kevin Aqua, I do not dip straight into the, the that, the, I was about to say the, into the bucket, but I just, don't, I, I just don't dip right into there. I use whatever's on the cap, kind of, and I take just like a little, honestly, a little goes, you're about to see a little goes a long way. So I like to go ahead and just, I have to conceal my entire eye area because I have pigmentation, so... I'm going to do the entire thing. I know some people don't have to. I saw that on TikTok. Some of them don't. But I am going to. And you see as I'm going upwards, I'm lifting up to create this lift right there. So as you can see, I'm doing that. Um, you can always use a beauty blender if that is your preference. Uh, I have tried, I keep trying different methods of how to um, you know, blend in my concealer due to the fact that I always get creasing no matter what I do. Um, even if I, I can't really bake since I have really dry skin, but I will try powder just to kind of like set it and sometimes it just, it just doesn't work. My eyes are just, I don't know. I have yet to find a trick to never allow me to crease right under there. So I have no idea, but you can see that it's pretty woof, lifted. Um, but I still need to blend this out nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a beauty blender. And my beauty blenders I just clean so they're, they're still wet, which I actually don't like to use wet blenders, but you know, we'll use it. It's the Morphe uh, beauty blender, I guess you would say, their version of it, which I actually really do like. I love the straight edges. So yeah, I'm just kind of pulling down the concealer so it covers a little more area. I'm gonna let this be that harsh, to be honest, because you'll see it'll kind of disappear. So yeah, there you go. I feel like I might need a little bit more here. See, that's how bad it is. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my NARS this time and I'm gonna take a straight flat brush. This is, I can't read, oh, all the writing is gone, but I know this is a Morphe brush. And I'm going to just pull up again. You see that? It's like I'm doing eyeliner for the underneath of my eye. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And this time I'm just gonna use my um, little blender to blend that in. Do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be back. All right, so I do the same thing. Just to know a little trick, you wanna go all the way above to all the way your hairline. So that gives you that lifted look that's the trick so don't just stop like right here go past the eyebrow all the way up to your hairline next what we're gonna do is take our straight edge brush which I really truly like I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Kevin Aqua and I'm going to do this part lift up it just helps give the illusion of lifting I'm not gonna do too much I'm just gonna I like to do these two areas. See how I've kind of left it? I'm gonna take my blender and just blend. So it's all about blending and truly just giving the illusion. So basically the corners of your lips, if they're kind of like going up, you can always do it with your lip liner as well, kind of that trick where you can kind of give it the illusion that it's going upwards. That always helps, all right? So that's one area. This area, since I've already covered it, but if you don't, you can always cover the inside and just blend in this area. It'll also give you that lifted look. And what I like to do is also the nose area. I like to do the 
tip of my nose and then I know a lot of people do this area right here just so you can get it a little sculpted. I will show you next we're gonna do contour so you can see how contour will also allow to give you that snatched look but let me go do the other side of my lip off camera because I don't think you really need to see that so I'll be right back. Alright since I did that now we're gonna get into the fun stuff which is my favorite which is contouring your face. I've already done a cream a stick contour right now so that's been already blended but just to emphasize a little more we're gonna use a powder so I'm gonna grab my Hulu uh, caramel which is a little darker color but I like it especially for the summertime let me grab my brush I'm gonna use a, oh okay I was, I was about to say I'm gonna use a Morphe M529 and it's kind of like a dome shape a small dome shape brush so I just kind of grab it to the tip of the dome I do a motion of blending and patting. It's kind of weird, but I've always kind of done this. I almost lost my brush right now with my hand. Just grab a little bit more. Grab a little at a time so I can see how much I really want. I don't want to be too harsh either. My whole point is to be harsh at the bottom of the cheekbone right here. Oh, my finger is so bad. If you guys see this, yeah, it looks like I was bruised, but that's because I itch and that's my eczema flaring up. So I really prominently am sticking to this area right here going upward. That lift and now I'm just gonna smile and get some on the cheek there we go so this is kind of how harsh I want it to be all right we're gonna do the same thing I'll show this again maybe it'll help to see this so I'm gonna go right here and up into the hairline I have no mirror in this way so I'm literally looking at the mirror which is right over here concentrating more at this area right here and then, like I said, I, bring, I take a little at a time so I can build it up. I don't want to take a lot at once. And we're going to do the next step, which will be taking our powder to really create that harsh line. So it gives it even more of that sculpted, lifted look. I feel like when you pat, it helps it um, stay into your skin longer, to be honest. I always, I just realized I didn't blend my nose. <laughs> but I always realize, um, for me, I feel like my, my skin or my body, whatever, it like eats up the contour. Literally, like few minutes, hours later, I'll notice like it's faded. So I always like to push it into the skin. While that's done, now what I'm going to do is grab my powder. I usually have two that are my favorite. This one is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, which is amazing. But the color that I have is like that, um, it's not yellow. It's a peachy-ish, pinkish undertone. So I'm gonna grab my yellow one instead, the Ben I one. This is an oldie, but always a golden. But I will transfer. I feel like I have to try other powders. I, like I said, I don't really set a lot. It's very rare that I set, to be honest. I think I should try maybe Huda Beauty's powder or I should try Laura Mercier. You guys can leave me suggestions. So I'm just gonna take some from the top, honestly. There's some that's there, so I'm just gonna grab that. And I'm using a bigger Morphe sponge and I'm just gonna create that line up to the ear. The center of the ear. And you can see it, so I'm just gonna let that be. I don't put a lot of powder on, as you guys can tell. I really don't. I'm not a fan of drying out my skin. I, I, I go for more of that dewy look, right? So, not a fan of baking at all. blend in everything that I can. Makeup's all about blending, guys. It really truly is. But you can see that. There we go. Now I have all this that I hate to pour out and back in or whatever. This is why powder is just messy. <laughs> and I'm a neat freak, so I have to like work in a neat station. Anybody else like me, like I know you, you have to be out there that like can't really do powder. I'm not the only one. Like please give me some hope. I'm gonna take a brush, this is my M Morphe M509, and I'm just gonna sweep, sweep, because I don't like to bake, so it's not gonna be a long baking process at all. There we go. Just so it kind of blends in nicely. All right, so we're all set with that. Our nose, I think one side of my nose is more contoured, but I'll fix that later, don't worry about it. So we're gonna go to the eyes now, which is the best part. All right, so 
Let me turn on my other camera that's around me right here so I can film a little closer for you guys. I have a little bit of contour on my eyes from earlier, cream contour. And I'm going to take this Natasha Denona palette right here. Right here. This Natasha Denona palette. Um, and mine, one thing about Natasha Denona is her products are amazing. They're so nice and smooth and pigmented and they're easily blended. But because they're so like smooth, they break so fast. As you can tell, this one, gone. Destroyed. But it's okay. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind it. I still use it because it's a great palette. So, I always have to grab my brushes. So what I'm going to do, and take your, I cannot read this because the number is completely gone. But um, this is a fluffy, any fluffy kind of brush. This is my blending brush, I always say. Blending brush, did I say that right? I take this color right over here. And we're gonna go right in, tilt your head back, and blend the crease. Blendy, blendy. Take the same thing. I'm gonna take do the same thing in the other eye because I like to do kind of both at the same time. So that way I know if it's equal, right? You wanna know if you're doing an equal job. Sometimes I will do one eye completely and then do the other and then you just realize you have to go back and forth to make them look kind of equal, but there we go. So that's done. The next fun step is we're gonna add a darker color into the crease line right over here, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna add a darker color. So I'm gonna take another fluffy brush. This one was in my Ipsy bag a long time ago, so it's called, this one just says smudge. <laughs> but we're gonna take a darker color, um, this dark, dark brown, right over here, and I'm gonna just do the tip of it, literally, at the tip of this brush. And I'm gonna tilt my head back again and go right into the crease. I kinda of wanna add a little more darkness towards the end of my eye. I'm gonna dab a little more and just blend right here and even bring it down to this area. You can start seeing it right there, right? Like, yeah, it's, there's a little bit of brown. Do you see this creasing? It happens. And then I always have to just take a, where's my brush, my fluffy brush, and just do this. I mean, I can try to put a little bit of powder, but honestly, I've tried it, so. Ooh, there's a piece of, I hate when those things that happen. But anyways, we'll do that later. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. I kind of got some underneath, right? So I'm gonna take just like a flat brush. This is a M170. <coughs> Unworth says I have the funniest laugh, so you guys can be the judge of that, but excuse me. So I'm gonna take this clean brush, and honestly, just clean that line up. There you go. So see, on as well. And if I really want to, what I can do, what I'm gonna do to clean this up a little more is take my NARS concealer and just make this line a little more prominent because this will come in handy when it comes to lining the eye with eyeliner. It'll become very handy to have this because it's kind of like an outline. Kind of. Again. I gotta sneeze again. Yeah. <coughs> I gotta have to sneeze again. God help me. Seriously, there's something that's going up my nose. I do is now add the fun part of it is glitter to the eye. So let me grab my favorite brush that I like to lay glitter on. This is the M124, very flat brush right here. And I'm going to take this rose gold. We're gonna do like a rose gold kind of color. It's right here, this rose gold color right here. And I'm gonna pack that on quite a bit. I could use my fingers, but I don't know. I, I feel more satisfied with the brush for some reason. I feel like I could be more precise with fingers. You kind of get into the crease and all that. So I'm only going to take it out a little bit, but mostly focus it towards the inner side of your eye. There we go. Going to do the same thing to the next eye. 
And this is also very buildable, which I probably will add a little more. Why not? More glitter, the better. I feel like I just sound groggy now because of all the sneezing I just did. But hey, allergies are a real thing, guys. If you don't have them, you are very lucky. So yeah, I'm focusing more on the inner corners of the eye. All right, so we're done with that. So our eyes are basically almost completely done. We're gonna line them, which is the hardest part. So for eyeliner, I am going to be using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I surprisingly fell in love with this. I got this when I used to work at Sephora in our monthly bags, and it's really good, guys. Honestly, it's really precise. The tip is amazing. Um, it's pretty sharp. So I am going to show you. This is the scary part, but it makes it kind of easy because we have a line. But if you are a beginner and you're still not comfortable with, you know, just doing an eyeliner, what I will suggest, let me show you a quick tip, is to take uh, any angled brush. This is the M160 slash 116. I like to take a little bit of my brow gel and put it on here and just kind of make a line just so I know where I'm going to lay down my eyeliner. So it's just kind of like an outline. I kind of want to always go, you see where the end of my eyebrow is kind of like right there, so a little rough draft of where I want to lay it down, so I'm going to follow that. Don't worry if you're not straight, we can always clean it up, see I messed up myself, but I'm going to bring it down to there. fill in. It's not easy guys. It's not, especially when I'm doing this with one hand. I've been trying to train myself to do this with one hand. And not pull on my eye. It's like a big check mark. You see that? Like check. <laughs> Literally. On your eye. But this is the part that even if you mess up, it's totally okay. to you. So I'm going to clean it up with my same brush that I took earlier, uh, which is the M170.4. Open up my NARS. Grab a little bit and take that line. Bring it up forwards. There we go. So that you can even lift it up a little more. And because of that little tick mark, you see that it happened? lightly touch it with this and there you go it basically got fixed see uh, you really won't see the eyeliner much because we're going to add our lashes but i'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and i'll be right back so as you can see i've done that it wasn't easy today is not my makeup day but you know what you still gotta do what you gotta do i still gotta film this for you guys so there's the eyeliner and now this is the tricky part but the trick that i found on um, TikTok that I saw, I will link the girl who showed this on TikTok and Instagram. She also posted it on there. Shout out to her because I saw her TikTok on how to do this and I kind of used the same technique and then I added a little bit of my own steps. So, so what she did was she took a full lash, a complete like lash strip and she places it upwards and then she does her liner after. What I'm doing is I put my liner on first so it gives me kind of a outline of what direction I want to go in because I wouldn't really know with the liner, I mean with the lash. So what I did a little different is I took lashes and I've cut them into three parts. This is the Samantha by Huda Beauty and I cut them into three parts. So the end, the middle, and the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you is use the two sides, not the front piece, the last two pieces. That's the only two that we're going to use on each eye. So let's get to that and I'll show you how I place that because how you place it is super. What I'm going to do is take the middle part of my lash because for me the middle part of the lash is the most. I left the most for that. So I'm just going to take my glue. I like to use a black glue so that way it meshes in with my eyeliner easily. This one is from KISS. It's formaldehyde free. I try to be good to my skin as much as I can, so I just gonna, you know, we're gonna do the blowing, waiting, blowing, that sounds all wrong, but we're gonna just wait till this dries. <laughs> and I know I look, I apologize for looking like a train wreck because I have my hair up and my bra short, I'm like, Lord, but you know, 
I always feel like for some reason when you do this look black somehow pops the look even more especially the contour so I felt like I should have wore I should wear black but okay I think it should be able to stick now good so the trick is when you place this you're gonna place it on this so I know that sounds crazy but you are see where I placed it I placed it right there I leave a little bit and I'm just gonna lift place and lift up so it gives you more of that fox eye look I have some hairs coming downward, but it's okay. Builds character, I guess. There it went back up. So there you go, you see that? It kind of gives you, you guys probably can't see it in this angle, but it gives you that little lift already. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Let me clean this last. Now, this is the piece, this is the last piece. So this was the middle piece that I'm using towards the end, and now I'm gonna use the last piece towards the inside. But to gradually go to smaller lashes to bigger lashes. So that's why I'm using the end piece. I tried using the front, the beginning piece, but the beginning to me, it depends on what lashes you use, were just too small and you don't notice it really, to be honest, because they blend in with your natural lashes, you'll see when we put mascara. So I figured to do it a little opposite and I found that if I use the last piece, it works better. So I'm just gonna see if I can lay it down now and show you guys how it kind of looks. There we go. Main focus is always to lift so that it tames to be lifted. Oh, I gotta get this front one. Can you see that? Can you see that? It makes a big difference already. And you barely see the eyeliner. That's why I say I don't worry about the eyeliner. But I like to do the eyeliner first, so it kind of gives me an outline of where I want to put my lashes. And the last step you really do is just do mascara on your eyes. And that's I I like to I prefer to do the top and leave the bottom um, without any mascara. I like that look. It makes your eye look bigger. I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs first. I usually use these two right here, the Marc Jacobs and the Better Than Sex. I still haven't tried the other one by Too Faced, the new one that come, came out. I forget the name of it, but um, I've been asking around if people say it's better than Better Than Sex, but some people tell me it's a little clumpy, so if you use the other one, I forget the name of it, dang, let me know if you recommend me getting that and if it's better than this even. I've tried a lot of mascaras. I've tried NARS, Climax, I've tried Smashboxes, one in the red tube, uh, what else do I have? I have, I have Drugstore L'Oreal, but it's, I seem to like the combo of these two a lot. And the biggest trick that I always learned is to go back home it, back home your eyelashes. And the more you can use the tip of your mascara, wand, the easier it is to really get into those smaller lashes and lift them up and tame them up. And I like to tilt my head back, as you can tell, just so I really pull them upwards. And the best part is I like to go right in here, the beginning, so it really gives it that effect that I have lashes on when I really don't. I'm gonna let that dry. I always do a few coats, especially it, like interject between these two. But as you can see, it does a pretty good job in blending in and just giving you that that uplifting look. Well, we still have more to do. I'm still going to add highlight to the areas right here to blend these two even better. I usually don't have to worry about blending them out too much. You can always, if it's really bothering you, but I always tell people, once you put highlighter, you don't really see the cross between these two. They don't look that harsh. So I'm just going to go put on some highlighter. If you're wondering what highlighter I'm going to put on, I like to use the Anastasia. I'm Reezy and the NARS um, Albatross. I think this this is a gift I know by Juhi. Uh, Albatross is a really white, white highlighter. If you do want, it's optional, you can line um, the outside of your eye, which I am going to do, but I'm not going to bring it all the way down. And I like to use just like a really light natural brown. So I like to use a Marc Jacobs. It's the color shade Brownie. Oh, from what I remember, yeah, it's Brownie. Um, I love Marc Jacobs pencils. They're absolutely amazing to blend in. I'm just gonna do it in the outside right here just to give my eye a little more dimension and we will be blending this out so it doesn't look so harsh if I but I try to be kind of light-handed with it so that I don't have to worry about blending it out too much my favorite brush that I use when I blend my lip liner as well as this brush right here it's the M515 and I'm just gonna you know blend 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 not too much because I still want it to be in that outer 
area of my eye to give it a little shape. Just a little. A little does a lot. You have no idea. I have my favorite, other favorite last step to my eye to brighten eye and make it look bigger is this color's Nude. It's by Nabla. It's by Morphe as well. And I'm just going to find the inside of my eye. I talk so quietly when I do makeup. And in real life, if you talk to me in person, I'm loud as hell. Do you see that? Do you see that? I hope you do. Because it makes a world of a difference. I love making my eye pop. It's the best thing. See, I just keep doing it. Not that hard to do this look at all. Like, it's really easy. I'm just going to intersect and use my better than sex. Is that the right word? I'm using intersect. Oh, I don't know, interject, switch up. I should just say switch up. And now I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex to bring these lashes up a little higher. And they really do make a big difference. I really can't wait to try Huda Beauty's new mascara that she is about to release. Uh, I'm not sure what the release date is, but I saw that um, she had posted about it called Legit Lashes, I think. That's what it's called, but yeah. It blends in perfectly for me. I have no issue with it. I I haven't tried it with a full, like adding more lashes. I haven't tried that, but I, I'm okay with it. I don't mind this natural look. Let me finish the other eye, pop on some lipstick to look alive, and um, we'll put my hair down and give you a look of how lifted I look. All right, be right back. All right, so I popped on some contacts because I feel like that just makes the eyes a little more, um, you know, prominent. While I was doing my makeup, I noticed something. There's Mimi on the side. But I, I noticed that to create more of that uplifting look, what we need to do is, I think, conceal this a little more, make it a little more prominent, because it's not. As you can see, yeah, you look lifted. You know, you see this area prominently looks lifted, but right here, mm, not so much. So I think when you are concealing, we can add a little concealer to the bottom. I don't know if powder, if you want to bake, you can, but I feel like concealer is going to be the best trick here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do that right now and just create that line. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or bad, but hey, I'm seeming to feel that maybe I did too much. This is the Kevin O'Claw again, so it could be pretty intense. Uh -huh. But I'm going to take my beauty blender, but I feel like that's better of, look at that, like doesn't that look higher? So I'm going to just use my beauty blender to blend. It wasn't really bothering me. It wasn't really giving me that lifted look. So I'm gonna take my hula again and just take a little bit right at the tip. And again, just kind of try to stay in the lines. I think what happens when you add concealer, it doesn't even allow you to get outside the line, which is kind of great. It kind of is like a barrier, so it doesn't let me get out of that. I always generally like to make the bottom a little darker anyway, so there's a grading effect. But see, as I told you guys, I feel like my face, my pores just eat my makeup alive. If you hear any rattling, that's on more moving. He has me on pause. Um, so yeah, I think that's so much better. I think that does so much more justice to the jawline, way better than um, baking. Honestly, I feel like this is more prominent. So I'm gonna do the same thing, maybe take a little less concealer this time, but. I don't see that chiseled result sometimes that you get with baking, but I sometimes think baking doesn't always give you that. I think a concealer will give you more of that lift. So you want to conceal here again, you want to conceal here, you want to conceal here all the way up to your um, hairline. And I think the next thing you always want to conceal is just like, you know, the highlights, the, the highlight points of your face. And that's about it. So it's always just remembering to go in an upwards motion. Let me hide my bra. Upwards motion, always upwards motion and be snatched that way. This way even, like you know how you see the girls doing this? You really don't even, like I don't even have to tug. Like look, I can just take a picture like, well, let me do this side, this is my better side. Like this, you know? 
I don't even have to tug the eye really. You already have that like cat eye um, lifted, face lift just happened to me look. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I really am still learning how to do this. I know it's trending and stuff so it's still new to be honest. I'm still not the best at it as you can tell. I'm still learning, but I just wanted to share a little tricks and tips that I do. I like to cut the lashes, like I said, and use the middle part as the last part and the last part as the beginning part, so remember that. And just enjoy yourself, get to learn what looks good on you, you have to. I didn't add any blush because I'm not a blushy person all the time. I like to either do just blush and then contour, like, you know what I mean, on a, on a day where I'm going full glam. Today's not a full glam day, today's just kind of like, I'm natural, but yet I'm bronze because you know it's summer. So I didn't want to do any of uh, any blush. You are more than welcome to do blush. I feel like if you you could do whatever you feel like, let do whatever your heart desires in this look. Have fun with it, but practice, practice, practice. I think that's my new thing in all my videos. Practice makes you perfect. Practice makes you be able to get to know your face better, to know what areas you need to contour, what areas you don't need to contour. So this is just. An easy thing once you get used to it. I've pretty much gotten used to at least putting the lashes on really fast and knowing where to place them. So that came with time, but it's a very simple eye look. Again, it's an everyday kind of thing. It's not something you have to go out with, but I hope you guys um, like it. You think it's easy. If you have any questions, leave me. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Make sure you like and you subscribe so you can see more videos by me. Bye.